Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of Jessica Lynn Original Studio with Artistry in Cards. And today I am going to go ahead and take part of the CAS Colors and Sketch Challenge number 532. Um, and what they did was they decided to actually make it all about three specific colors. There's one called uh, Azure Afternoon, which is kind of like a turquoise, an olive green, and then a really light pale blue. And this challenge, they want you to go ahead and create uh, basically using those colors. Um, you can use neutral colors. However, the challenge colors should be the most notable ones in your card. Um, we use Stamping Up to reference the color names as that's what they say in their blog, but you're welcome to use any other company's products as long as you match the colors as closely as possible. So I thought it would be really fun to use one of my digital stamps. This is a brand new one. It is a Daisy Gnome and I'm kind of in a gnome thing right now. So I thought that'd be really fun to just sort of color him in blue because I've done him in other colors and I've got them all set up and I'm using the color scheme. And then I thought, you know what? I am going to be inspired to use my stencils and my dioxide inks. Um, or Distress Oxide. I mixed them together. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I got inspired to use those inks. And what I did was I went and found, I have this whole pile of stencils that I got um, for Christmas. And so I'm using those. And so there's one where it's like a whole series of trees. And then I'm going to use the cloud stencil. And this is the one that Amy suggested that I go and get many years ago. And I'll be honest, it is one of my favorite cloud stencils. They look so pretty. And you can see what I did was I put the stencil of the trees down so that they sort of live there because I don't want those to be blue. I'm gonna want those to be green. And I had somebody ask me last time, why was I using the pink post-it notes? They are post-it notes that are sticky throughout the entire thing. And what I find is they hold projects down really well. So while I'm doing this, I could use the post-it notes and it'll actually hold it. And so the stencil won't actually move. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all lined up. You can see I got the green on there and I'm just going to go in and darken this. I should have put a post-it note at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just sort of dip into the black because I want to try it and see if I can blend the really light green with that black. And the green that I opted to use, um, it's one of my favorites. It's called Mode Lawn. It's really pretty. It's bright. But I have this brush, this older brush. You can see I'm using the pink one. And I mixed it with a little bit of black and watch how pretty it made like a really pretty olivey green, which is what my goal was. Cause again, I'm trying to stay within their color scheme, which is the blue and the green. And there's only one spot on my card where there's a tiny bit of yellow. And you saw when I colored it in, I did that. Um, but with my trees, I'm going to try and keep it again in those same three colors. That's part of the challenge. And I'm just going to stencil in some trees down at the bottom so that we have some depth. And I'm currently working on my children's book. Um, so you'll notice that I have some videos up on this channel about that. And if you are not already, please go ahead and subscribe because I'd love to be able to share all of that with you. Um, but I want to do my backgrounds using the Distress Oxide. And so I've been playing around with stencils and I'm so excited because I have noticed such a difference and I just want to say thank you to all of the different companies doing challenges and everything like that because it has really helped me kind of push myself out of my comfort zone and I love this. I think it is so pretty and I put some of it up on my Instagram so you can see it there as well. You can see, see the full stick. Love those. It is so pretty. Like in person, I, I kind of just want to leave it like that. Um, don't forget, always sign the back of your cards because you are the artist. Um, now you're being inspired obviously by other people's products, but you're, you're the card maker, right? Um, then for my little gnome, I'm just going to go ahead and put him on and I think I'm just going to glue him on. I usually use foam risers, but I just think I want him kind of living there. And about two or three months ago, I got a whole pack of like sticker sentiments which are kind of fun. So I've been kind of playing around with those a little bit to see if I like them. Not sure that I do. Um, they're easy though. I mean, for me, obviously I own a rubber stamp company, so I really prefer that. Believe in yourself. And we're just going to stamp that up in the clouds. Oh, well, I guess it's going there. 
and that doesn't look too bad. I like it. I like that it stands out and it's far enough away from the gnome so that works really well. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to glue him up. Get him all nice and sticky. There we go. Alright. Um, and I do want to throw something out at you as well. If you are interested and you want to share your projects, um, I do have a P.O. box that you can mail your projects to. And we will be featuring them. So if you go to my website, jessicalinoriginal.com, um, I've got the guidelines in there and what you can do to mail those in. We are trying to do it by themes. And then I'm going to be sharing videos where I'll say, here's all the cards that arrive for April and, you know, May, June, July, etc. So if you're interested in doing that, um, please go ahead and send them. And then my plan is to actually take any cards that don't get donated um, and send them. I have a, a couple of nursing homes near me and the, the elderly absolutely love to be able to take cards and write letters to their loved ones. So if you want to donate your card, you can. Otherwise, if you include uh, mailing, I can ship it back to you. So, But I love how he turned out. I think he is 100% perfect for the challenge that they threw up there. Um, again, my name is Jessica Lynn. I am the owner and artist for JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like this video, and I'd love to hear from you. Take care, everybody.